you hung around with those flyers. We worked very hard for them. Does that mean you can get your airwoman's badge now? Oh, I reckon we earned it ten times over. Airwoman's badge? Gosh, I've hardly got any badges at all. My guide uniform looks as empty as the day I got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the flyers gave us a letter saying that they thought we'd qualified. All we have to do is show that to Miss Pittman and that should be enough. I should have got them to give me one. Where are they now? It's too late. They have gone to Egypt. Egypt? Not straight away. They're only going to the next town. Ah, oh, we. Oui. Eventually, Egypt. Get it? Egypt, eventually. Oh, Lucy, don't go on. Marguerite can speak English. Not all of it, she can't. Pixie? What? Don't scout about the badge, right? I wasn't going to. Well, just don't. Makes it too hard on some of us who aren't too quick off the mark. Well, you'll have to be quicker. She won't, or I'll bash it. <laughs> Sorry, miss. Sorry, miss, we didn't hear the bell. You did so. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Pittman. Today, I want to start off with a discussion Please, of... Please, Miss. Yes, Myrtle? Are we going to do sewing today, Miss? You're not usually so interested in sewing, Myrtle. That's because I'm not that much good at it, Miss. So I'd like you to show me how to do it. Show you what? Well... <laughs> my mother usually sews on my guy badges for me, but she has a bad finger. So I thought it was time I learned to do it myself. Excellent, Myrtle. Now, the topic I want us to discuss is... You may sit down, Myrtle. Aren't you going to ask me what badge it is, Miss Pittman? <laughs> Very well, Myrtle. Which badge is it? It's the airwoman's badge, Miss. How did she get that? She's lying. She didn't go up in the plane. Class, Myrtle, I am impressed. That is a most difficult badge to obtain. I'm sure we're all interested to hear how she did it, aren't we, girls? Mm. Yes. Mm. My parents didn't want me to miss out, so they drove me to Cessnock, where I had a plane ride, and I asked for my letter. Soon, I'll have all my badges. As I was saying... <laughs> I'm sure you'll be able to do the next one yourself. Miss Pittman? Yes, Louise? Is that fair? Is what fair? Well, my dad would never drive me anywhere, even if he had a car. So how am I supposed to earn a badge that way? Louise, there is no race to get your badges. They are to indicate what you know, not how fast you can collect them. But her being helped, doesn't it worry you? I don't mind who helps you. I'm only interested in the results. Good afternoon, girls. It's all very well for her, but who's going to help me? Oh, we will. Well, I know she hasn't got the cooking badge. Well, I haven't got that. Nor have I. I certainly haven't. Well, why don't we all get it? That way we'll have something that she hasn't got. Yeah. yeah. Let's. Abel cooks a dish for us. Escargot. What's that? Snails. Oh. They are beautiful. I cooked some in garlic and butter. No, no, Marguerite, you have to do what it says here. Oh, what's that? You have to catch a rabbit and kill it and then skin it and cook it and serve it to Miss Pittman. Oh, how horrible. Ugh. Haven't you ever caught a rabbit? Why should I? I've been out with my dad. He takes the dogs. Louise. Captain Jack's got a gun. Maybe we could borrow that. No, you have to snare it. Trapped, you mean? Snare, you know. In my country, they snare birds. 
with little ropes. See, snare. They set a little trap with a piece of bread or some meat. The little bird pecks at it, and alors, the basket falls on top of it. Trapped, see? I told you. Whatever it means, this is what we have to do. Trap it, snare it. And who's going to kill it? Oh, we'll worry about that when we come to it. I'll kill it. But you'll have to hold them to one end. They scratch. I think I'll have to do some research. Grandma! <gasps> oh, child, you must stop creeping up on me like that. But then I get into trouble for clobbering about the place. Just tell me what you want. Rabbits. You want rabbits? Have you ever seen one killed? Oh, of course I have. How do you think we ate? Couldn't afford beef or lamb, my dear. Oh, no. Underground mutton. Saved our lives many a time. What's the best way to kill them? The best way, if there is such a thing. Well, you don't want to shoot them, if you can help it. Otherwise, you spend half your time getting shot out of your mouth. No. The men would find the burrows, get the spades and dig them out, or the ferrets would, and wring their necks. Wring their necks? How did the poor rabbits feel about that? I never asked them. Way down Rio, oh, give me a song of the fish of the sea, and we're bound for... Well, hello, young lady. To what do I owe the privilege of this visit? Did you enjoy your days at sea, Captain Jack? Yes, I did, as a matter of fact, Molly. What's that thing there? Oh, that? Oh, that's a blunderbuss. A gun? <laughs> More like a baby cannon. How old do you have to be to fire one? Hello, who's been giving you trouble, eh? I'll soon straighten him out. Well, it's not a him, it's a rabbit. We have to catch one for girl guides. Oh, I see. Well, them's not for shooting rabbits. And them's not for young ladies, either. Now, you come over here and sit down and we'll discuss your problem and we'll see what we can do. As this might turn your tummy, you can keep watch. And if you see Myrtle, yell. I pinched this from my dad. And if any of yous give me any trouble, I'll chop your plates off for breakfast. <laughs> Please be serious. We have to catch the rabbit first. Unless you plan on throwing that to pin it against a gum tree. Of course not. I could only get this. <laughs> Esmeralda! Well, if you lot don't kill him properly, I can finish him off with this. <laughs> Madam's coming. So that's where you've got to. What are you all doing? They are teaching me how to think in English. Oh. What? Uh, uh, what have you been doing? Still sewing on more badges? Not yet. Gee, you're slowing up a bit then, aren't you? Well, I don't know. The next one's going to be very hard, I think. Oh, and what's that? The cooking badge. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. Yes, I think you have a lot of trouble with it when you get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Marguerite. Moi? Oui. The little rabbit? And what are you going to do to catch one? Are we... Me? Yes. I have... I have nothing. But I will sing a beautiful French song. Oh, really? And what will that do? That will enchant the little rabbit. And he will come to the door of his little cave. And he will lean on his little arm and listen to me sing. And then I'll bash his brains in. <laughs> no, you will not. No sensitivity. And then what will you do? I will say to the little rabbit, little rabbit, would you like to come for a walk with me? And the little rabbit will say, oui, oui. No. He will come to the edge of the forest, bush, and then I will say to the little rabbit, little rabbit, run for your life, run for your life. 
I like that. Well, thanks, Marguerite. I'm sure that will be a great help. I am only telling you how I feel. Well, you cook frog's legs. Why won't you let us catch a rabbit? Frogs do not have pretty little ears and cute little tails. Don't listen to them, Marguerite. I agree with you. That reminds me. What did you bring? Well, I borrowed this from Farmer Wilson, but I don't have the strength to open it. He also offered me the land of his ferret Archibald, but he bit me on the finger. And after reading about all those traps and torches in the library yesterday, I had nightmares, so I wish I'd never heard of any of this. Well, we're going to do it tonight after school. So I hope someone's brought something that works. It so happens I'm at the champion rabbit trapper of Emu Plains. And who's that? Captain Jack. Captain Jack? He's not from Emu Plains. Ooh. Mm. He lives next door. He was born at Emu Plains. And it was there that he invented this. What are you all doing? Nothing. <laughs> Minding our own business. Still translating your silences into French? Hey, Myrtle. What? There's a badge you've got to get. Should give you no trouble. What's that? The belly acres badge. <laughs> <laughs> You're still going to use that, are you? Well, what are you going to do when you've got that cute little bunny looking right up at you, still half alive? Use your great pig sticker. And what are you going to use to skin it with? That. Shh, you'll scare every rabbit within miles. That's the go. He became champion rabbit catcher with that. No. That's what he designs for gentle young ladies like me. <laughs> what? That's what he said. <laughs> when I find a burrow, can I borrow your mallet to hammer in some sticks? See? I knew it was important. Let's go. Keep up, we'll lose you. If I don't mark this trail, we'll all get lost. I can always find my way home. I can smell my old man five miles off. <laughs> Say beautiful. Don't start singing again. Oh, the dear little bunnies. I couldn't kill one of them. I couldn't even watch you do it. Oh, they're so adorable. Yeah, why'd they have to look so cute for? I'll never eat another bunny ever again. Where's Molly? A 
Are you going to catch one? Of course I'm going to catch one. That is what we came here for, isn't it? I know, but... Molly, we were thinking... Shh! Do you want to scare them all away? There's one in here. I just know it. Look, would you mind all going away? Molly, and that includes you too. I think she's going to do it. There. Now all we have to do is wait. Molly, we've been thinking. Maybe we shouldn't do it. Maybe we shouldn't do what? Catch a bunny. And uh, skin it. And kill it. Well, I hope you kill it before you skin it. They're all a bunch of weakies. But I'll go along with what they say. If they do want to kill a bunny, I won't make them. <laughs> what about lamb? You all eat lamb, don't you? Well, they're cute too. Yes, well, we don't feel like it anymore. No. So we're going to go home. We. Oui. Vit, vit, vit. And how am I supposed to get home? Aren't you coming with us? No, I came here to catch a rabbit. No, I'm going to catch one. Well, I suppose you better leave a bike for you then. Pixie, I will, um, oh, dinky dinky you. <laughs> All right, don't expect me to share my badge with anyone. Molly. Are you sure you're going to be all right? You worried about me? Not really. You didn't leave her out there, did you? Oh, Grand Molly knows the bush better than any of us. I don't care how well she knows the bush if, if somebody creeps up on her. Anyway, if she's not back soon, I'll get Captain Jack to go and find her. Well, he was the one that lent her the trap anyway. Yes, and I'll speak to him about that too. Young girls catching rabbits and cooking them. It's all part of a guide's training, isn't it? Could you do it? I don't have to, do I? Never would if I know you. Anyway, Pixie, I'm glad you couldn't do it. Gives me some hope for the younger generation. Oh, there you are, Molly. We were just talking about you. I thought my ears were burning. Did you do it? Nope, I couldn't do it. Thank heavens. Hooray! How can I study with all this noise? I told you they're too pretty to kill. Oh, it wasn't just that. Once I got him into the trap, I had nothing to kill him with. What's in the bag? Nothing. Why? It's moving. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better show you then. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> Smells delicious. What is it? Rabbit. Rabbit? Don't you like rabbit? Yes, I do, but... Do we get our badge now? No, she has to eat it first. Do I take it you went out and... Caught it. Killed it. And cooked it. And cleaned it? Oh, I knew we forgot something. Oh, darn. It tastes good, though. Can we go in now? I've got to get home. Well, it's not absolutely convenient right at this moment. She can always taste it now. Yeah, she only has to taste it, not eat it all. Well, OK. Would you like to dip your finger in or just use a spoon? What about the other girls? Were you the only ones? Sort of. Oh, the others went, but reckon they couldn't do it. Killing a bunny wasn't on for them. They'd rather miss out on the badge. Well. Perhaps they have a point there. Might I suggest we all go around to where they are and discuss it? Take this. Well, perhaps we could... No, take it. Miss Pittman can eat it there. Good idea. Now, the girls have done exactly what the old book says. They've caught 
killed, skinned and cooked a rabbit. They slipped up on the gutting of it. However, according to the book, they have earned their badge. Yay! It's barbaric, that's what I say. You showed me how to do it. I only said I'd seen it done. I didn't say I'd done it myself. Different thing altogether. However, there has been an amendment to this very rule. From now on, you don't have to kill a rabbit. In fact, we now ask of you the very opposite. From now on, the girl guide has to be a friend to all animals. Mm, that's more like it. Hooray! Three cheers for the guides. But hang on. Does that mean we don't get our badge now? Of course you will. You did exactly what the old rule said. So now, Molly, you can display your bunny without feeling any concern for its safety. Just as well you only trapped one, Molly. Why's that? Otherwise, there'd be rabbits everywhere. Really, Vera, you are bold. What did she mean? Uh, never mind. Vera, really. Rabbi! Rush, Rabbi! What's that? That's the rabbit man. He's got some rabbits for us. Fetch him in, Jimmy. You can bring the empty saucepan back to school tomorrow, miss. Goodbye, everybody. Yes, goodbye. Goodbye. Right you are. Oh, I'm having a good day around this park, Grandma. Sold three to one lady and another one to... Well, hello again there, girls. Yeah. Did you like that one so much? You want to buy another one? From the country to the city, what a life for us we miss it. Growing up is full of strife, sugar and spice. How I long to be back home. Everyone leave me alone. Growing up is full of strife, sugar and spice. Thank you. 